Hey gang, Scott here. Uh, really quick tip for you in Lightroom about adding an inner light to a vignette. Now, uh, this is not a control we have in the vignette tool in Lightroom, but it's very easily done using a radio filter. And I like to leverage the luminosity masks when I do this so that you get a, uh, a nice accent on what is likely your subject of choice, right? You're doing a vignette, you're already drawing your viewer's eye to a particular area in the photo doing like, like a counter to that, you know, a little extra boost in light to that subject, is, it's a nice accent. And this photo here, uh, what, um, what really caught my eye was this bench, this little tiny bench just sitting out underneath this beautiful fall color. But uh, as I worked the scene and, you know, did all of my adjustments, that bench was getting lost. And you can see I finished off adding my, my post-crop vignette. And I wanted to make sure that bench still showed through. So let me open up the radials here and let me pick on that pin and let me delete it for just a moment. So I'm going to go off here and delete. And you see how dark that got and, and that bench is just getting lost, right? And I, I don't want to lose that. So let me undo. And that pin is very simple, right? Very, very simple. Exposure, actually pretty high. has a pretty healthy boost of exposure. Bit of clarity just to get it to crisp. But the one other piece is the range mask. A luminance range mask and notice I did not apply anything to the shadows reduced the smoothness so it was a crisper mask we turn on that luminosity mask we'll, uh, we'll zoom in here so we can see all of our controls right next to each other and notice those details right where as I shrunk that smoothness and raised that range up a little bit the bench because it is a brighter object that's going to take on more of this, uh, this increase in exposure. And I must be zoomed in way more than 100% because this looks, <laughs> looks kind of grainy. But hey, whatever. You're going to be able to see exactly what's going on here. And just this little touch, right, really makes all the difference. Let me zoom back out. Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and delete that pin one more time. Delete. Undo. Now, major change when you're looking at it close up. Zoom back out. Let's look at that maybe at 100%. That's a little more, <laughs> a little more tolerable. Um, it, it really adds just that nice accent there. One more time on, on deleting that pin, adding that pin back, touch of exposure, well, more than a touch, exposure, clarity, use that range mask. So you can keep things like those tree trunks dark. That's okay. Those, those things are dark. This just becomes a nice area of very localized contrast. And all summed up, it really did make a notable difference to the story of the photo. So I uh, hope you found that useful. Inner light, a little, uh, little touch of exposure in a radial filter. And play with those luminance range masks. They are immensely useful in Lightroom. Got any other questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.